Now we will see how to eliminate VLOOKUP using Power BI. Why do we need VLOOKUP? Because we want to convert code to description. For example, here this is transactional sales data. The first column is product code. We have another table somewhere which does have the mapping between code and description. For transactional systems, for reporting purpose, we need the description. And that is done by taking the code from this table, decoding it and using the description. And that method is called VLOOKUP. Why do we need to do this? Because the traditional pivot table can only pick up data from one block or one table. It cannot pick up data from two tables. Due to this, we are forced to use VLOOKUP. And VLOOKUP has its own problems. It increases the file size and makes everything even more slow. Not to worry, Power BI will help us solve the problem. This is our sales table. As usual, very simple data. It has been named as sales. This table is called product master. Now, when we are in Power BI, we will get the data from the Excel file. In Power BI, when we look at the tables, both the tables are clean. So we will just select the tables and load them. This time, because the data is in good format, there is no need to edit anything. Now, once you do loading, both the tables will be visible in the data area. The only extra thing we need to do before we can generate reports is do something equivalent of VLOOKUP. Now that is best done in this view called relationships. The relationship area just shows the names of the columns, does not show the data. Now we need to inform Power BI that this product code is actually the same as this P code. Never mind that the field names are different, the contents are same. So all that you need to do is drag from P code and drop it on product code. And now it builds the relationship. There is one and star. What does that mean? On the left side, in the product master, each product code will appear only once. Whereas on the right side, the same product may have multiple transactions and that is indicated by that asterisk. This double headed arrow indicates a two way relationship. We will see that later. Now we are ready to generate reports. So let's go here and create a report. I have already done that to save time. What do we have here? We have a chart showing products and the total revenue. In this report, I have just added amount, which is showing me the total amount. And in this case, I have given count of amount. Why is count of amount being shown as one? Because I have chosen something called distinct count. Distinct count means show me unique values and count them. Now, if you remember in our raw data, all the amounts were two. That's why it is showing the distinct count as two. If I change it to count, of course, it will show me the total number of transactions, which is 10. That is how we eliminate VLOOKUP in Power BI.